Hey everyone, let's learn about the systemic effects of beta blockers with Picmonic today. I am going to play the Picmonic video and then at the end, we'll take the quiz together to see what we've learned. Systemic effects of beta blockers, shown as the beta fish with system blocks, describe the effects beta blockers have on various organ systems. These occur because beta adrenergic receptors are located widely throughout the body, not just the cardiovascular system. Beta blockers affect the respiratory system, depicted as the lungs, because blockage of beta-2 receptors leads to bronchoconstriction, the broccoli constrictor. These medications have several metabolic effects as well. The metal ball. Beta receptor blockade leads to decreased insulin release, shown as the down arrow insect syringe. Moreover, beta blockers lead to decreased glycolysis and lipolysis, the down arrow glue laser and lip lights. Diabetic patients taking beta blockers should carefully monitor their glucose levels because beta blockers will mask the typical sympathetic symptoms of hypoglycemia. Finally, beta blockers decrease aqueous humor production in the eye, drawn as the eye, and are used to reduce intraocular pressure, the down arrow draining eye. So, remember, beta blockers affect many different organ systems of the body. They affect the respiratory system by causing bronchoconstriction. They affect metabolism as insulin secretion is decreased. Glycolysis and lipolysis are also decreased with beta blocker use. Finally, this drug class also affects the eye as they reduce intraocular pressure by decreasing aqueous humor production. All right, let's take the quiz. And question one, which body system should be approached with caution when using beta blockers in patients with asthma? And if at any point you need more time, feel free to pause the video. And the answer choices there. I remember the lung pygmonics, so I am going to go with respiratory. All right. And the lungs have beta-2 receptors and typically bronchodilate when adrenal receptors are activated. However, when beta blocker drugs are used, bronchoconstriction occurs. Okay, great info there. Next question. Question two, which of the following side effects is most likely associated beta blockers? Okay, I remember the eye pygmonic and the downward um, arrow. So I'm going to go with the first answer choice here, reduces intraocular pressure. It also has increases right here, increases intraocular pressure, but because of the downward arrow, I'm going to go with reduces. And there it is. Beta blockers such as timolol and betoxolol decrease aqueous humor, for, aqueous humor formation by blocking beta adrenergic receptors on the ciliary bodies. Okay. What are the primary metabolic effects of beta blockers in relation to glucose and lipid metabolism? Okay, and I am going to go with decrease glycolysis and lipolysis because of the lip lights and the glue laser, and both of them were had the downward arrow. Mm -hmm. So and there you go. And you can pause and read that there if you'd like. Which of the following systemic effects is most likely to be seen while evaluating a patient using beta blockers? Okay, and the only one I remember is the bronchoconstriction shown with um, the broccoli constrictor. So I'm going to go with bronchoconstriction. All right. And you can read that there. Okay, so there are three more questions left on this quiz. Click the link below to check out Picmonic so you can test yourself on beta blockers and other 
pharmacology topics with our space repetition quizzes. Thank you so much for learning with us today. Bye.